Come on in. It's so good to see you. I haven't had company in a week. I was starting to get a little stir-crazy. The animals are good company, but sometimes I need a little more... interaction. You know, they aren't the talkative type. <laughs> I'm not very talkative either, that's true. But being in my cottage without any creature to speak with, even I start to miss having a nice conversation with a friend. You rarely come over without some creature else by your side. Did the girl send you? Is Ponyville safe? Oh, good. I was worried something horrible had happened. Well, you have a troubled look on your face. Plus, you look a little dazed. Is everything alright with you? Oh dear, I figured there was something on your mind. Did you sleep alright? And did you eat and drink enough today? Hmm, may I make you some tea? No, no, don't worry. You aren't bothering me. Like I said, I'm happy to have company. Alright, so about that tea, what do you think? I have your favorite blend. Alright, maybe later then? Here, come sit down on the couch with me. Hush, don't you worry, friend. Like I said, it's great to see you. I can tell you need to get something off your chest. Don't be nervous around me. I'm here to listen. I might not have the answers, but I care about you. So we can talk about whatever you need. What's going on? Oh, I'm sorry you're so overwhelmed. But listen to me, you aren't hopeless. I'm here for you, and so are the girls. Whatever you do, you can't let those thoughts get you down. Not when you have so many good things to look forward to. You have so much potential. We're thankful to have you in our lives. You might not believe me now, but it will be okay in time. You're welcome. I love you dearly. I can't imagine a life without you in it, now that I've met you. And I know the girls feel the same exact way. We went through so much together. I knew from the moment we met we were going to be close friends. We are all so proud of you. We know you can do it. I know you're trying your best to stay strong with what you know. And it feels like you can't try any harder sometimes. But you can. So long as you're stuck feeling low and hopeless, there is a better way to deal with things. There is a way to be happy with yourself, I promise. I think you just can't see it right now, but I hope I can change your mind. You're never alone, not if we can help it. And I will stare down your mean thoughts if I have to. You're worth so much more than you think. You need to be nicer to yourself. I I'm sorry for raising my voice. I just... I want you to be okay, and I know you can be. You put yourself down too much. It hurts us to hear you think of yourself so lowly. You're only limiting yourself by thinking that way. You're important to us. I know. I wish I knew how to make it easier on you. I feel a little helpless right now, so I'm sorry if I don't know the right things to say. I want to make you feel better, but don't take this the wrong way, please. Um, feeling better has to take place within you. You need to value yourself like we value you. If you give up on yourself, nothing can help you and you'll never be able to feel better. 
I understand. It's not easy. It feels impossible sometimes just to get out of bed or do the basic things you need to do to keep yourself in a good headspace. I can't imagine what your mind is telling you when you feel this way, let alone how much your thoughts must race when you feel alone and lose sight of all hope. But you deserve better. And this can turn around. You aren't hopeless. You have to start believing that. I know it's hard to tell sometimes, but the darkness in your mind doesn't make you who you are. Yet it can easily feel that way. It can feel like it's all you have. It can hide everything good away from your view. You have to look hard for it sometimes, but the good is everywhere. I know. It's not that you haven't been trying to see it. I understand it's not that simple. It takes blind hope to force yourself to think happier sometimes. Life is painful, and some things can't change no matter how much we wish they did. You can't always see it, because your emotions are blinding sometimes. But when you feel overwhelmed like that, try to remind yourself of the bigger picture. There are so many wonderful things in this world, just waiting until you're able to enjoy them. The things you enjoyed before the darkness in your mind ruined their shine will be waiting for you to be ready. You'll find that passion all over again. Sometimes, we just need a little break to reset and recuperate. Learn how to appreciate the good again. In the meantime, you can always try new things. But first, focus on taking care of your basic needs if you aren't. Hygiene, sleep, food. You'll probably have to push yourself a little to do things that help you. Life isn't easy, but you're so strong. And with time, hope, and patience, you'll be even stronger. How do I know? Well, I've been where you are too. You've already been through so much, yet you're still here, even after all the negativity your mind has thrown at you, and as often as it has pushed you down. You've told us about life back at home, and some of the struggles you faced before moving to Ponyville. Through all that, you're still standing, and I'm sure you can stay strong. You just have to believe. The longer you hold out, and the more you focus on the positivity, the easier it will be to push through the bad. Trying is just the start sometimes. Because you have to take control of your emotions. Sometimes you can't just fix things. You can so easily get stuck in an emotional state that only drags you and everyone else who wants to help you down. Because sometimes you can't imagine how life could possibly get any better. But in times like that, you have to have hope to find the path to a happier future. Respect yourself. Hey, that's exactly what I mean. You're not a burden. I care about you. Even though it hurts me to hear you say all these things, I don't see you that way. I care. I don't want you to feel alone. Like I said, I've been there. I just worry I can't give you enough hope for you to help yourself. Hey, remember, you're not perfect. No creature is. Not even the princesses. Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? You're already feeling down enough. You have so many thoughts rattling around inside your head, and you don't always know how to handle them. But they can't control your life. Oh, it's gonna be alright. I promise. You know, ponies struggle too. Even in this world you see as so much happier than yours. So many creatures struggle with depression, anxiety, nightmares. Don't overwhelm yourself with what ifs or overthink the bad things. Just take tiny steps for now if that's what you need. Because it will be okay. Don't lose sight of the good things. And always search for more positivity. 
I'll always be here to remind you, okay? So long as you're my friend, I'll be here to support you. Well, you might need a lot from me right now, but you've always been there for me, and I believe in you. So I feel like you deserve my support. I find it really helps to focus on the present when you get overwhelmed. Not what you couldn't or can't do, but what you can. It also helps to make little goals every day. And as you feel more capable, make bigger ones. Most importantly though, you have to have high hopes for the end result. You owe yourself that. If you can't believe in yourself, how can any creature else? You control how you shape your destiny, so make it a great one. If you just take small steps every day, and so long as you keep pushing yourself a bit more as you get stronger, I promise, it will get easier on you. That's what growing is, taking on the challenges life throws at you, instead of letting the darkness take hold of your mind. We believe in you, but we can't change your mind if it's already made up. Telling you that you're unable to be helped or create a better future for yourself? You have to be there for yourself. At the end of the day, the only thing that has the power to comfort you is your own brain. So love yourself. Remind yourself every day, you are loved, you are strong, you are not a burden, and you are absolutely not hopeless. You aren't able to change everything, I know. But you can't let that hold you in this dark place. It can be so hard to deal with that fact sometimes. It can feel like the world is suffocating you with all that pain and pressure. What you can't change, you have to accept for your own sake. Because even if it feels like you're stuck on the bad, you aren't out of control. Not yet. Like I said, you're still here. You're alive. Your mind is strong. So nourish it. Don't put yourself down even more. There has to be at least a few good things you're grateful for. Healthy things to look forward to in life. If you're able to focus on those things, I know you'll find your happiness. Hmm, but I'm sure you can. Tell your brain to hush. Fluttershy said to leave her best friend alone. I'm sorry your thoughts just keep putting you down. Relax. Breathe. There's no need to worry right now. Sometimes, survival comes down to a battle against your own mind. And you're worth so much more than your brain is telling you. Of course you are. Everything that's happening inside your head, it's hard. But know that it won't last forever, if you don't let it. For now, I'll be your cheerleader. Yay! <laughs> but once you leave my cottage, I really hope my words inspire you. Your pain is real, there's no doubt about that. You're hurting, but you need to know that you can get through it. I won't lie and say giving up on yourself is the best solution. It's easy. But it isn't worth it. Your willpower is a lot stronger than you realize. You just need to exercise it more. You have to make sure you're supporting yourself. No, I don't think happiness is a choice. I'd say it's more like a skill. You have to learn how to practice happiness, in a way. You seem to tear yourself down a lot. The world does that enough on its own. So you have to build yourself up. You have to be your own biggest supporter. And learn how to find happiness in each moment. Sometimes you can't help but feel sad. Or angry. And that's okay. But you can't lose sight of the potential you have. It's there when you believe in yourself. And focus on the good. You're worth so much more than the darkness in your head tells you. So don't let it take over your mind. You'll get stuck on the bad, and it'll tell you you can't feel anything else, that you can't succeed or be happy. I'm sorry if it seems insensitive, 
Or like I'm minimizing your issues. I don't mean to. I feel horrible that you feel this hopeless. And I know you're trying already. You look so tired. But I believe in you. We all do. I love you. And I won't stop telling you that I know you can do it. I'm here to talk about whatever's bothering you. But I can't lie and tell you it'll be okay to do it on it so much. I don't blame you, but... I... I'm just worried about you. Your mind can't take all that negativity. You can take your time to work through it. But don't let yourself get stuck in a negative mindset. You can get to a better place. If you believe in yourself and the strength of your own mind. You don't need to settle for feeling miserable. Focus on the good in your life and build on it every opportunity you can. You can turn this around, even though it's not entirely your fault things are the way they are. I know you can create a wonderful future for yourself. You've already started the process. It will take work to get to a place you're happy with. And even then, things will still drag you down sometimes. But if you change your mindset to embrace the positive things, you'll be able to handle negativity so much easier. It'll roll right off your back, because you know that there's more important things to focus on than the negative. It's all about finding patience and hope, loving yourself, and loving those around you. You aren't hopeless, even if it feels that way. You're far from it. The fact you want things to be better than they are now means you care. That's a lot more than some creatures can claim. You haven't given up yet. I know you have it in you. It's a process to get out of a deep rut like the one you're in. But you are going to be okay. You are able to heal, no matter what you faced. And your life is not over, despite the struggles. After all you've gone through to get to this point, you're still here. That's proof enough you can pull yourself out. No matter what your mind tells you, you can't give in because it's hard. I wish you believed in yourself like we do. You've gotten so far already, and while you may still have quite a way to go, we all see the potential in you. That's why we're here. We haven't known you your whole life, but we've always liked you from the moment we met you. And we've seen such a change in you since you first came to Ponyville. For the better. This might sound silly to you, but I'm proud to be your friend. You've learned so much and helped us all grow stronger. And so long as you continue to learn and correct yourself when things go off course, you really do have all of Equestria at your hoof. I'm sure you will find more things that make you happy, but only if you open yourself up to enjoy them. We could all use a little work. That's what life is about. Learning and growing from our mistakes and struggles. There's always a new problem in life, big or small. You just gotta learn how to handle it with resilience and grace. Um, do you mind if... Well, c could I have a hug? No. <laughs> Thank you. I love you so much. We all do. You might not know where to look right now, but that's okay. Patience is the key. Baby steps are important too when you're so low. Just can't give up on trying again and again. Each time you fall off the saddle, you'll get stronger and more resilient as you practice getting back up. Even if you start out slowly, every creature will see the change, and you will feel it too. Life is full of ups and downs, and I'm really sorry you have to deal with such low lows. Remember, the girls and I are always here for you, okay? I might not be able to take company anytime you need me, but I will always make time for you when I am able. It's not a problem. I wasn't expecting company today, but you're always welcome to come check in. Some days I might need to take a rain check, but I'm glad you came to me. I wouldn't want you wandering in the Everfree Forest all alone with racing thoughts. I usually take at least one friend with me when I go. Well... 
Pinky's wonderful at lightening up the mood. The scowling trees turn into friendly faces after a couple of Pinkie Pie's jokes. The magic of attitude and perception is everything sometimes. Even stronger than the power of friendship, if you can believe that. Hey, don't feel bad for venting when you need it. I know how sometimes it really helps to vent to a friend. So that's why I'm here. You can always come to me when you have something you really need to talk about with some creature else. And when your mind becomes an echo chamber telling you that you can't do it, I'll gladly remind you that you can. Hopefully you can remind yourself, too. Of course. It's my pleasure. I love cheering my friends up. Celestia knows you do the same for me. But as much as I enjoy being helpful, no creature else can solve your problems like you yourself can. It's so much nicer to see you can cheer yourself up. Because then I know that you're safe, and feeling confident in your own mind. If you're willing, I have another idea. A thought exercise for you. Don't worry, you don't have to answer any hard questions. And if you can't do it right now, I still think it would be a good plan to think about this when you're on your own and the bad thoughts get too much to handle. I mentioned the idea earlier, but we didn't go into detail. What are the things in your life that you're grateful for, right now? It could be something physical, though something physical can be lost or destroyed without reason. Something good you've built, like a friendship, memory, or a skill, is always there if you keep it alive in your mind and heart. Though some physical things are good to be grateful for. Not every creature has the necessities. Food, water, shelter. To have all those things is worthy of appreciation. I hope you're grateful for who you are. But if you're not right now, you can be. Trust me. If you focus on all your bad traits and convince yourself that's who you were meant to be, you'll live in the dark, never even imagining your true potential. Recognize the resilience and kindness inside of you. You can change the world around you by choosing positivity, a moment at a time. You can change the way you feel and how others perceive you. Fairness towards others is very important, but first, towards yourself. Love yourself. I know I love you. I could tell you a few things I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for you and the girls, for all my friends. If I hadn't met all of you, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. I bet I'd be very lonely and still stuck in my shell. I'm grateful for my animal friends. They've been there since the beginning. They motivate me, and their cuteness always cheers me up. And I'm grateful for Discord. He showed me how to stand up for myself, even though he pushed me around a bit. We've had a complicated relationship, but Discord has grown a lot from the start. I'm proud of the progress he's made. He chose to start nurturing the kindness within himself. And it's beautiful. You can't let your anxious mind ruin the present. Princess Luna let that happen, and we know how that played out. Luna was never evil, but the darkness was too much to handle. She couldn't see the good side, that her night brought much needed rest and comfort to balance her sister's work-filled day. She learned that you have to appreciate your gifts on your own to truly understand the good you can do for yourself and the world. She loves her sister. She loves helping ponies. She has a heart. The darkness took over. She developed a selfish and cruel persona. It felt like the world was out to get her. So she made everything all about helping herself. In reality, her biggest enemy was her mindset. Now that she had the chance to change, she has to live with that regret. But she's remorseful, and she learned from it. That's what matters most if you ask me. The bad is so much easier to let in sometimes. And that's why it can feel like too much to handle. But you can't give your power away like that. If you can't fix it right now, you have to make a plan. It can be a small plan if you're unsure what to do. 
like cleaning your room or going for a walk in nature. The bad isn't what you should focus on. Do something good for yourself. You shouldn't focus on the bad, because if you do, it can so easily take up all of your energy. You won't be able to imagine any other way if you let the bad control your mind. The good moments in your day and the good things life has coming, they matter so much more than the things you can't change. You might not forget the bad, but you can redirect the pain by not letting it take control when you feel it building up. The good things in life will keep you grounded and comfortable if you make sure you appreciate and build on them. It's good to keep in mind how you got where you are now so you can continue to make better decisions. But just remember the bad isn't everything, unless you convince yourself that. You can't do that to yourself. The present moment is a building block for the future, for tomorrow. So what you allow yourself to think and do will affect how your days play out. That's why it's important to stay in the present. Be considerate and count your blessings while you have them. Trust me, it's worth it to try. I wouldn't tell you this if I didn't believe so. Focus on the blessings and the positive places you can go. Maybe you ate a nice meal today or you're grateful for my company like I am yours. Like the silly jokes and fun moments you can enjoy with friends and strangers. We all just want to be happy, to feel heard and safe. I realized that sometimes, even the most standoffish ponies just need a little time, positive encouragement, and understanding to open up and discover the good inside themselves. That doesn't mean you let creatures walk all over you, though. Take care of yourself. Because there are some creatures that truly don't care for others. Maybe they just need time to learn how. But it's your job to take care of yourself first. Some creatures are struggling within themselves and deal with it by taking it out on others. I know a pony who struggled so much with that. Her name is Diamond Tiara. She was a bully, relentless, always putting fools down who hadn't discovered their talents yet. But at her lowest point, the girls she bullied most took her in under their wing, despite the trouble she put them through. They realized she was so mean because she was even more miserable than she had made them feel. They helped her see that there's much more to life than trying to be the superior one. She was so focused on being better than every pony else. It's what her family taught her to do. She didn't want to disappoint them, and it's all she knew. In that mindset, her special talent seemed to be telling her she was above everyone else, rather than beside them. Her special talent was being a leader. She failed to see that respect and trust are the most important parts of being a leader and building a strong community, not just being higher status than every creature else. Her method of living only created more pain for every pony and drove a wedge between her and those she, in her own twisted way, cared about. It would be wonderful if we were all kind to each other by default, but even in the land of friendship, that's not how the world works. You never know what's going on in some pony's mind, or what got them there in the first place. It's not an excuse for them to be cruel or selfish, but we have to understand the cause to find the solution. Sometimes it gets so dark in our head we take it out on the world around us and drag others down with us. We might not even realize what we're doing until it's too late. I know that you don't want to hurt any creature. In the end, if you let the darkness control you, it will ruin your life and your relationships. It will ruin your attitude, your hopes and dreams, your confidence in others, and yourself. We all struggle, we all suffer, but to grow from it is a choice, a hard one sometimes.
You're pretty quiet today. Funny, because it's usually the other way around, right? <laughs> I hope I haven't been talking too much. Whew, good. I'm glad you're here with me. I understand. But you need to believe in yourself, and the rest will follow. If you keep putting yourself down, you'll be too scared to enjoy yourself. You'll be too scared to make new friends, ask for a free sample, dance, sing, talk. That's how I felt at least. None of our friends want that for you. I was really shy before I met the girls. I could hardly speak to strangers when they said hi. I'd get stuck in my head, and nothing but a squeak would come out when I'd try to speak. When I met Twilight, I was terrified. So shy I couldn't even look straight at her. But then, I saw Spike. I had never seen a baby dragon before. And then, I learned he could talk. And he's so sweet. I was so excited to learn about him. So amazed that I forgot I was anxious at all. My experiences have taught me that life isn't a fairy tale. But it can be beautiful if you make it. There are inconsiderate and malicious creatures out there that can easily ruin your day. But you can't let negativity have that power. Or you could become just like those who hurt you. All negativity does is spread and make more negativity. For you and for those around you. It's exhausting to have so many negative thoughts racing in your head. But don't let them wear you out. Please, you have to focus on the good in life or you'll get tired of focusing at all. You have to build on your strength and defeat the badness that blankets your mind. When you can't defeat it entirely, going after the bad directly isn't a solution. Sometimes, you have to submit to the dark inside you. Just let it exist, by your side. But don't be its friend. I'm your friend, and I only want good things for you. The darkness wants to keep hurting you. What good would it do to embrace that? The darkness can't lead the way to a happy future, in the same way the light can. Sometimes you just need to accept the way things are, because there's nothing that can be done. Keep track of the darkness inside you, so you can understand what's going on inside your head. But don't let it in your personal space like you would for something good, something that can lift you up. You can stay strong, I know you can. Darkness blinds you, disorients you, numbs you. Things go wrong all the time. Slip-ups will happen, but it'll be okay. Just be present in the moment and keep getting back on the saddle. You can always do better next time. You can do it. It's hard to ignore, I understand. But instead of jumping into the darkness and letting it bubble around you, you can starve the darkness with positivity. Don't let the darkness win. It'll keep growing bigger and swallow you whole if you let it. Fight against it with your every thought and action. And when you mess up, try again. It's all you can do. Tell yourself that the darkness doesn't own you. Because it doesn't. And you and every creature else deserve so much more. You're welcome. Like I said, I'm always going to be here for you. But you have to be your own biggest supporter. You know, you should smile more. It's just that a smile looks wonderful on you. Recently, I haven't seen your smile enough. Well, even if you don't like your smile, so many creatures do. It's a sign of kindness and comfort. A sign that you're open to positivity. It's welcoming and warm, and shows your inner strength. 
It's all some creatures need to feel confident in your presence sometimes. To see you can open your heart up in such a scary world, you're able to lift so many creatures up with a simple gesture. I wish I knew a quick way to make you smile, but Pinky's the fun expert, so maybe you should give her a visit next. I know, you might not feel like you have the strength, but I've seen it in you. It's so hard to deal with strong emotions. Ignoring your pain isn't always possible, but there's a time and place for you to be sad. I know, I know. You've been through a lot, haven't you? I don't blame you for feeling this way. I just don't want you to lose yourself in the dark thoughts any more than you already have. Just think, as long as you're still standing, you're still in the fight. You haven't lost yet. Sometimes you slip too deep into the darkness, and you can't see Celestia's sun anymore. It becomes a tiny speck in the far distance. You have to squint to see it. I don't want you losing sight of the sun behind the clouds. Because it's always there, if you look for it. You can't see the way out sometimes, but it's there. You just have to believe. Seek it, and accept that it will come if you feed the positivity. When you accept that the darkness exists, but don't let it completely shadow your mind, that's how you find true strength. When I failed my flying test and fell to Equestria, I made the choice to embrace the place I landed. I could have spent my time trying to get back to Cloudsdale to show the other Pegasi what I had found. They were unkind and didn't believe in me at all. It would have been nice to prove that I found something great for myself. Maybe my shyness was part of my choice to stay down here, but once I discovered the forest and met my little friends, I didn't care to look back at my failures, even to show off the wonders I had found. I got my cutie mark in that moment, and I just knew I was meant to stay down here with them. Nothing else mattered. I finally felt like I fit in somewhere. Down here with my loving critter friends. Fluttering through the beautiful forest. Even though I had no pony to talk to. Once I landed in Ponyville, I had the trees and the animals to keep my spirits up. The animals were there for me, in a way my classmates couldn't be. I didn't have to speak a word to connect with them. Speaking has never been my strong point but even more so back then. For the first time ever, even having no pony but my family to talk to, I didn't feel so lonely. I fell in love with the forest and the creatures in it, so it didn't matter what had happened in class before. Friendship wasn't meant for my classmates and I, at least not at that moment. We had different mindsets, different needs. <laughs> it's interesting. I was classmates with Rainbow Dash then, and I had no idea that later in life, we'd be good friends. You never know what life has in store. Thanks to Celestia's friendship mission, I met Twilight. I had the chance to grow closer to the girls. With time, I learned how to open up and feel comfortable having fun with others. Um, you don't have a cutie mark to tell you your destiny, but... You're just as smart as any pony. There has to be something that fills your heart with joy like our special talents do, right? Maybe you like to write, draw, sing, or maybe you like to cheer others up like Pinkie Pie. I guess we all like to do that and have fun. Just make sure you're being responsible and safe. <laughs> hey, I'm not your mother, but I am your friend. I care about you. So, might I suggest asking around Ponyville for cool groups to join? I'm sure you could find some. For example, there's a hiking group that meets on the outskirts of Ponyville every four moons. I go sometimes, and Angel Bunny loves to ride along in my saddlebag. Maybe that would be good for you. It's never a bad thing to get some sunshine. In moderation. 
Aww, I'd love to come with you sometime. Hmm, I could attend the next meeting. Oh, but I can't go regularly. Don't let that discourage you, though. Oh dear, don't be anxious about new faces. You might be spending too much time with me. <laughs> You're starting to catch the shy. Go there with your head high, positivity in your heart, and ready to make new friends. Though, considering you're not from around here, you might get too much attention for your liking. But don't worry, it's only as scary as you let it be. Remember, your mind is the most powerful thing in your life. It can hold you back or push you forward. At the end of the day, everyone is there to make good memories. Remember that. I'm sure the group would understand if you got a bit anxious. And if some creature pushes your boundaries despite you speaking up and needing space, don't let them get to you. Maybe they're clueless, or maybe they want to bother you. But empathetic ponies will respect it when you say you need space. Those are the types you want anyway. Hmm, the hiking club meets often, but what other activities do you enjoy? There's a book club if you like reading. Book clubs are a great way to share a common interest with some creature, while still having something to focus on when you're alone. Twilight loves to attend when she isn't busy with her royal duties. When she transformed into an alicorn, she had to deal with a lot of unwanted attention too. But she's learned how to manage it now. Maybe she can advise you on opening up to uncomfortable situations. Just between you and me, Twilight holds a game night every once in a while, if you enjoy card and board games. Personally, I prefer to attend nature-oriented hangouts, but I'll attend game night when I haven't seen the girls in a while. Actually, if the weather's nice, we'll usually pack some snacks and bring the games outside. Being outside is very calming for me. The next one is in two weeks. I'll bring you along. How does that sound? Yeah, it's super fun to play the game of Equestria. Miropoli, Cards Against Equestria. You ever played those? Hmm, if you like playing games, maybe you'd enjoy community theater. It is awfully nerve-wracking to put yourself out there like that. But it would be therapeutic to do something you enjoy. Like I said, every creature is there for the same reason as you. To have fun and learn. Unless they have a bad mindset. But aside from clubs, it would be good for you to find some other things you enjoy on your own. The girls and I have very different hobbies. They keep us awfully occupied. But they keep us happy on our own, so we can get together and share our happiness. We all have different tastes, but we care about each other, and that's what matters. Hey, you better be joking. I'm not trying to get rid of you. I love you, and I understand you're hurting, so I don't mind all the effort. I just know I can't help you as much as you need. Only you can. No creature can be your savior, but you. You will always have to carry the burden of your struggles, no matter how much you express it to others, no matter how much they sympathize. You need to protect and love yourself. You're worth that. I love you. And when I see you like this, it numbs me a bit too. It makes me sad. I begin to lose hope myself because I know I can't change your mind unless you let me. I think right now you should focus on finding more things to keep you motivated. You're in your head too much for your own good, I'm sorry to say. I know you're struggling, and new things can be super scary and overwhelming. But think about it like this. You could make some friends build on the positivity in your life, and find fun things to do at the same time. Just keep looking towards the future. Life is what you make of it. I hope I'm not being too hard on you. House Angel? Thanks for asking. Truthfully, it's been a rough week. He got awfully sick last weekend. He's recovered, but it knocked the wind out of his little lungs for a bit. He's been in bed all day, I was worried the other animals would catch it. That would have been a disaster. Luckily, it didn't spread to any other creature, though. 
He is a wonderful friend. He helps me out as much as such a little creature can. The best part of being his friend is that he never fails to bring peace to my heart after a stressful day. He's too cute. <laughs> he can be quite a hoofful, that's true. Such a big attitude wrapped up in a little fuzzy body. Remember that time he thumped around the living room after you spilled berry tea on my rug? <laughs> it was adorable. He's quite protective of me. I love him. I did get the stain out. See? It took a bit of work, but hey, I got it. <laughs> really, it's no problem. Accidents happen. Yeah, I know it doesn't just go away or anything. But remember, you have lots of friends in Equestria. And admirers, too. You can never know how many creatures would love to get to know you if they had the chance. Unless you try. Please don't give up on a bright future. You're so important to all of us. You bring us so much joy. We want to be there for you. We want you to be happy, healthy, and safe. But, well... When you're stuck in your head looking at the bad, you're not looking at the right things. And you're not giving yourself the love you deserve. The love you're so willing to give to us. It makes me sad when you can't love yourself like you love me. It feels horrible when you can't love yourself like you love us. I I'm sorry to be so blunt. I just know if you focus more on the good, you can help yourself and feel a bit better about things. Life is hard. It's a constant struggle. It's often unfair. Confusing, scary, yet you can't get stuck on the bad things, or your pile of issues will only get bigger. While the things you love, the things that protect you from the darkness if you let them, get smaller and smaller in comparison. And then, you'll never feel okay about anything, because you don't believe that you can. You're gonna be okay, I promise. Keep your spirits up. Keep your head up. You can't control all the world around you, or how other people act towards you. But you can build on the positive influences in your life, and set boundaries that make you feel comfortable. It does feel impossible sometimes. If it helps you any, you're not alone feeling that way. It's good to have a distraction plan, in case you need to redirect out of control feelings. We love you so much and want to be there for you, but sometimes we just can't help you like you can. A walk in nature, or some deep breaths and meditation, does wonders for my mental state. But that's only because I have practiced staying in the moment and focusing on the positive, rather than letting the dark, scary thoughts control me. I know it can be so overwhelming when you feel alone, but knowing how to redirect the negativity to feel better when you're all alone in your head is very important. Sometimes being alone with no one to verbalize your thoughts to makes you feel so much worse. You feel out of control. The pain feels urgent, like there's nothing else you can focus on. Only you can make sure to focus on the positives. When you're stressed and you can't think straight, you need to recognize that and take back the control you've given up. Unwind those thoughts and process the anxiety in a positive way. Maybe writing your thoughts down would help. But if not, try something less overwhelming. Let life be messy sometimes. Don't look for an immediate way out, because that usually isn't an option. And if it is, the more you take it, the less opportunities you'll have to grow. If you get used to taking the easy, quick way out, you'll never be able to do better than the bare minimum. It will get you far to look to the bright side of life and stay in the present, not the past or worrying about the future aimlessly. Build on what you have today and you will notice the change. Know that you can be greater than you were yesterday. Hold strong to yourself. You can get through whatever life throws at you and you can learn a thing or two during the struggle. 
don't lose hope. I command it. I have high hopes for you. I know you got this. You have us to talk about your struggles. We're here. But you need to have your back too. What if all your friends are out of town and you're all alone? Aww, you really have to go? Are you sure you don't want to spend the night? Alright, still passing on tea? It is getting a little dark. <laughs> Maybe next time. Hey, um, before you go, can I have another hug? No, thank you. I love you. Our friends love you. So hey, don't stress so much, okay? We have your back. I may not always be there to give you a hug, but I would do anything not to lose you. I'd hug you all day if it helped. And if it was a realistic idea, but it isn't. So I think you need to hug yourself more. Hmm, no need to feel ridiculous about it. Self-love is actually more important than love from family or friends. Practicing self-love allows you to redirect the darkness. Oh, and one more thing before you head out. I know you haven't found the perfect path yet. But, I know a group of fillies who specialize in helping ponies find their place. You know Applejack's younger sister? And Rarities? Mm-hmm. Well, they have a group with a filly from school. They call themselves the Cutie Mark Crusaders. They've helped so many ponies find their cutie mark. And I know you're not able to get your cutie mark. But I bet they could help you find a career you enjoy. Or you could keep working for me and the girls doing odd jobs if that's what you want. I just know there's something big out there for you. Something that makes you feel complete like the animals do for me. You need to find something that really fulfills you. That's what our special talents are. Alright, I better let you go before it gets too dark. Sorry for holding you up. Thanks for coming by. I missed you. I'll see you at the next hike. Perfect. I'll tell them I'm bringing a friend. It'll be a lot less intimidating for you that way. Goodbye, friend. I love you. I'll see you then.